knew you got the hands for it. I trust you, man. <laughs> pounds, 10 ounces. Just chilling. Big one, big one. Maybe not a big one, but it's decent. Right behind that rock. Oh yeah, it's decent. Bass is tanking. On the freaking siglet, baby. Look at that size of that small job, baby. Sweet. I'm going to get a measurement on this bad boy. Since I am here and have the fish to do so, might as well make a sub video in my video. Don't worry, baby, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. This is my expandable bug board. It's made by Fra Bill. I picked it up at Canadian Tire. It goes up to 36 inches long. I'm gonna teach you right now how to properly measure a bass for your fishing tournaments. 99% of fishing tournaments nowadays are done on the internet, all right? So you have to take a picture with your cell phone of your fish. my beautiful smallmouth from the Thames River. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the proper way. Woo. To measure your fish. So you get your fish on your bump board. If you have your mouth open like this, that does not count. You will get this Nice, Herb. Oh, ha, ha. that was a nice one. You almost had a double header, baby. Anyways, you put him all the way to the end of the board with his mouth as closed as possible. Okay. Pinched tail is not acceptable. You will be disqualified for that. When you are holding your fish for your measurement, if you cover the head and the gill plate, you will most likely be deducted points or disqualified with that fish. Not disqualified from the tournament, but disqualified with that fish and not count. If you cover the tail like this, you will get in trouble and deducted points as well. You hold your fish just past the gill plate. Tail open. Your camera would stay above like this, directly above. And you would take your picture. Take 
four or five photos if you got to take four or five photos to get a clear one this small he's just over 15 inches baby smack that like button smack that subscribe button fish number five baby Slayer, folks. Slayer.